Good morning, everybody. Well, it's a little foggy, a lot muggy, but we are out here again, walking. We walked two miles today, <sighs> trying to get to that 10,000 step mark a day. We met a lady on the ship and she was walking, like walking, 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 walking. We finally talked to her and she's talking about she lost a lot of weight. And how she did that was basically walking 30 minutes every morning. And so, because we're like, how long do you, how far did you walk? And she goes, I don't walk a distance, I walk a time. And uh, she's done it consistently for a while and, and lost a lot of weight and was happy with it. And uh, it's not too bad on your body, which is one of the things I struggle with. And uh, so I said, you know what? I'm going to make a commitment to exercise every day. I don't know if it'll be walking every day. I might be riding my bicycle. And uh, I've got some other things I want to do as well, some kettlebell stuff. But anyway, after being sick, getting back into the groove of things, walking seems to work pretty well. Anywho, that's it for this morning. I got my walk in. Now it's time to get some coffee and then, of course, get to work. What's up, guys? All right, another day. Day, like this is day two back. Man, I'm already lost on my days, but day two back in the office getting stuff done. I had I had mail that was stacked like this high uh, when I came back from the trip and uh, I went through and I pulled out all the important stuff but like I had that much to throw away. If politicians would quit spending so damn much money on mailers they might actually be able to do some good. I'm just saying. You know I saw the amount of money that uh, the candidates spent on um, their campaigns and this is not political either side this is what I think about on both sides I feel like we should cap that like each side can only spend a million dollars or ten million dollars let's figure out a number but a billion dollars um, how how much good could we have how many homeless people could we have fed how much affordable housing could we have built for a billion dollars how much you see where i'm going with this how much good could we have done with a billion dollars rather than spent it on sending me text messages and putting commercials on my tv try and convince me that i need to vote for you I did, I'm, I'm at a loss. Like I saw those numbers and I'm at a loss. And this is both sides of the aisle. This is not Republican versus Democrat, any of that bullshit. It is, they spent all this fucking money to advertise um, when they could have taken all that money and done so much more with it that had a value. Anyway, off the soapbox. Just popped into my head, had to do that. So, all right, if you guys saw a little blip in the video there, that's because my mother trucking GoPro died in the middle of my freaking video. Anywho, where was I? Oh yeah, so last week I was doing a video, right? And in that video, where was it this weekend? Fuck, I don't remember, man. Everything's just running together. But anyway, I, I talked about Martha Stewart and how Martha Stewart said one of her goals was to learn something new every day. And I'm like, you know what? That's a pretty cool idea. But I wanna share that something new with the audience. Now, I'm gonna focus mine probably toward motorcycle stuff, but I'm gonna to try to find something new to me every day that I can share with you. I'm gonna do this in the form of a short video on, well, here on YouTube, um, on Facebook and uh, TikTok, you know, all that fun stuff. But that's my plan, is to try to find one of those um, every day. We'll see if I can accomplish this. Man, I keep setting everyday goals for me. Am I ever going to learn? I mean, at least the daily videos are going away. So it would be pretty easy for me to knock out a few of these short videos about interesting things I have found out uh, about motorcycles. My first one is tomorrow. So I'll give you guys a sneak peek because you're, you're my people. The question that I asked was, what is the most expensive Harley Davidson ever? Like sold, it's not necessarily sold from the dealership, but like sold, ever, you know, recorded selling price for a Harley Davidson. Do you guys know 
I'm sure you'll Google it, but do you know? Um, you'll have to see my video tomorrow to find out. I can tell you this much of a hint. Well, I guess it would be today. So later today, I'll release the video on this. But let me give you a hint. I own one. I don't own the one, but I own one of the bikes that is the most expensive Harley Davidson ever sold. When I saw what it was, I was like, that is unfreaking believable. I cannot believe that, but it is what it is. I don't make the rules. But anyway, just some of the stuff that I'm kicking around. The other thing is I've talked to you guys about this kind of multiple times, and I've asked, what kind of, you know, what content are you guys okay with? Like, does it have to be all motorcycle stuff? And there's a few people that have said all motorcycle stuff. Most everybody's like, you know what? We're here for you and Angie and support bikers and, and all your adventures, and we don't care. Which is a damn good thing because you're not getting all motorcycle stuff. I'm going to put whatever I want on this channel. Now, mind you, once I go to doing a video or two a week, that makes a... Uh, Probably a lot of it's going to be motorcycle stuff, especially with the rebuild of of the 99 Got to get the two bikes ready for our trips next year all that fun stuff So there'll be lots of that content. There'll be lots of content on different parts and pieces that I'm putting on um, my bikes, but uh, yeah, it's pretty much gonna be at least for the rest of this year the dailies It's gonna be whatever I've got going on for the day and I find interesting. So welcome to the Badger Vlog. You guys have been here for a year already, so you should probably already know this. Anywho, <sighs> I wanted to get that all out there for you guys. Guys, that's that's it. Like, today was just a day in the office. Um, just trying to get things lined out, um, plans made, executing on plans. Oh, the shirts. So the shirt, ooh, this was the October shirt. You guys remember this? It's one of my favorite shirts we've done. The Headless Rider, pretty freaking cool, right? But anyway, um, we have a new shirt, and I think they're all up right now. You'll just have to go to the link below and check uh, our shop for the shirts. Um, but tomorrow I'll be posting on Facebook. So go look on Facebook. I'll be posting a link to our shirts this month. I can say this much. This month's shirts, we have a bunch of them because they're customizable for whatever brand of motorcycle you ride. And that's all I'll tell you. So if you ride a Honda, we included you. If you ride an Indian, whatever it is, we included you in this month's um, shirt. So go check it out. All the proceeds, all the profit goes to the Rec Rider Fund. We make no money off these shirts, but... Uh, at least you guys get what we call it, what consider a cool shirt, and you're helping out the cause at the same time. Anywho, as I said, that's a wrap. We'll see y'all tomorrow.